Hi friends, welcome back to Cadaver. This is Engineer Brian Uma, and today we'll be creating this bowl in SolidWorks. Uh, the commands I'll be using here are uh, surface offset, bounty surface, uh, delete face, uh, surface cut, dome, circular pattern, etc. So let's start. Uh, remember, I'm using SolidWorks 2020. Let's go to a new, select part, and select OK. And now we are in SolidWorks interface. Uh, so first of all, as usual. I will change my background to plain white and uh, I will change my units to MMGS. I am using uh, millimeters gram second. So let's go to their front plane and I will create a solid revolve. So let's select front plane, select sketch and uh, I will uh, first I will make two lines and uh, one is the vertical line and one is the horizontal line. So let's make a horizontal line. Let's dimension this vertical line. And the dimension is uh, let's say 100 millimeters I will change it to 100 and uh, let's make uh, another line uh, and then I will join this line uh, using R using 3 point R so let's select 3 point R and I will join these two lines uh, using 3 point arc uh, now I will dimension these so let's go to your smart dimension again and uh, let's say this dimension is 60 millimeters so I will change it to 60 and the upper one is uh, let's say 70 millimeters so i will also change this to 70 and uh, you can see that still is uh, sketch is still underdefined so i will dimension this arc and this dimension is let's say 100 millimeters so i'll change it to 100 and now you can see that this sketch uh, color is turned into black and you can see here as well uh, that sketch is fully defined so let's go to your features revolve boss and the axis of revolution is the uh, uh, this line i will select this line and we need a 360 degree solid revolve and select okay so first command is done that is revolve command and now i will use uh, a command called shell command and uh, here i will be using advanced shell that is multi thickness shell so let's go to your shell and uh, first thickness is uh, let's say two millimeters and i will select this upper face and uh, for the multi thickness uh, I will select this face, this bottom face, and I will change this to, let's say, six millimeter. That is, I will need six millimeter at, at the bottom, and on the vertical walls, I need a thickness of two mm. So select this one, show preview, and uh, you can see here as uh, uh, that the bottom thickness is six millimeters. So select OK, and uh, now I will go to a, a section, and uh, now you can see that multi thickness shell. Uh, this thickness is 2 mm and the bottom one uh, thickness is 6 mm so that is the advanced shell and uh, okay so next is uh, uh, we will create uh, a surface offset so let's go to your surface offset select the surface and i will change it to 0 mm so that this offset surface could be converted into copy surface uh, you can see here i will change it to 0 now you can see that this is converted into copy surface uh, select OK and we will work on this uh, surface. So let's hide the solid body and we will work uh, on this uh, offset surface. Uh, now I will uh, create a uh, slot here. So I will select, uh, let's say, a front plane for this. Select a sketch, uh, view normal, and I will create a, uh, a straight slot. So select this one, straight slot and i will make one straight slot here uh, the dimensions are this pitch is uh, let's say 50 mm let's go to a smart dimension and let's change it to 50 mm and uh, width is let's say 15 mm so i will change this width to 15 mm okay and the upper uh, let's say this dimension the upper one is uh, let's say 25 and now you can see that the sketch is fully defined uh, here uh, it will be 25 as well you can see that so uh, let's exit this sketch and now we will project this sketch onto this surface so let's go to uh, let's say features and uh, let's go to the features under this drop down i will find uh, split line and uh, i will use projection option and i will select this sketch and i will select this surface okay and uh, i will change uh, 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 I'll be using single direction, so let's change the arrow and select OK. 
and now you can see that this sketch is projected onto the surface which we want okay uh, next is uh, we will create another uh, split line uh, and we will be uh, dividing this surface into two and that will help us when we will be using boundary command okay so let's go to here curves again and uh, and uh, let's select split line again and this time i'll be using intersection and uh, the intersection plane is the right plane so select uh, right plane for this and uh, for the surface is this one this newly created surface now you can see that i will uh, intersect the surface into two uh, now we will uh, create a profile and uh, we'll create profile on a right plane so let's go to your right plane select right plane select sketch and uh, i will offset this uh, uh, arc so i will offset this one to let's say 2 mm change the uh, direction and select ok and now i will drag this point to uh, somewhere here and similarly uh, i will drag this point to here and we will make two splines so let's go to your spline tool and i will join this point with this uh, okay similarly i will make another spline and i will join these two points using spline and now we will add some dimensions and relations to this first this one and uh, this is spline it would be ta uh, tangent and now we will create uh, some center lines let's make one center line which will be parallel to uh, this edge and uh, let's select this edge and this one and use tangent relation uh, we will create another center line and uh, this will be tangent to this spline and uh, this will be perpendicular to this uh, center line and now we will uh, give some dimensions to these handles so let's say this dimension is uh, 5 mm sorry this dimension is 10 mm and this dimension is let's say 5 mm okay and uh, the dimension from here to here is let's say 10 mm so i'll change it to 10 now you can see that this part is fully defined so we will do same operation uh, here so select this one this one and use uh, tangent relation and uh, i will create two center lines and one would be parallel to this outer edge of the bowl and uh, one would be uh, perpendicular uh, to this center line so these would be tangent and uh, these two center lines would be uh, perpendicular to each other okay uh, now we will give them uh, some dimensions so let's go to a smart dimension and uh, i will give them let's say 10 mm and uh, this one let's say 5 mm okay and the dimension from this point to this point is 10 mm i'll change it to 10 now you can see that it is fully defined so let's check it out uh, let's say this top point to this uh, one it would be 17 and a half so let's check it out yes it is 17 and a half and it would be same on the bottom so let's check it out again and it would be 17 and a half okay so let's exit this sketch uh, we have some error here so let's go to edit sketch again and let's say i will delete some of the relation which is uh, basically over defining it let's delete this relation and now you can see that now this sketch is uh, correct uh, now i will use a command called bounty surface and uh, i will use all these uh, arcs to create bounty surface let's go to your surfaces bounty surface and uh, I just right click here select selection manager and uh, i will select this one this one and this one and select ok so it will create one open group uh, similarly uh, just right click and uh, just right click here and i will select this r that we just created and select ok right click selection manager select this one this one and this one 
and select okay now you can see that a bounty surface is created that's why uh, we have used uh, a split command for intersection uh, because we want to make this boundary surface okay so boundary surface is created and uh, now i will use a command called cut with surface and basically uh, the function of uh, cut with surface is uh, it takes a surface to cut a solid now you can see that it is not enabled because uh, my solid body is uh, hidden so i'll go to solid body and uh, i will unhide this select show and now you can see that uh, this command is enabled so i'll go to a cut with surface select this uh, cut with surface and uh, i will select uh, this one boundary surface change the direction and select ok uh, now we have uh, uh, some error due to geometric conditions maybe in the shell side uh, edit feature and ok this one should be 3mm so i will change it to 3 and uh, now it will work select ok and now i will go to cut with surface again and uh, select this one change the direction select ok uh, it is working so basically we have to delete this face uh, this uh, uh, these two faces and uh, select this one this one select this option delete face and now you can see that this indent is created okay uh, so next is uh, uh, we will apply some fillet to this top edge let's go to your features and let's select this option uh, full round fillet so basically it takes three inputs to create your fillet and it does not require uh, uh, radius so in the first box I will select uh, this one and in the second box I will select this top uh, top face and on the third this outside face and now you can see this preview uh, fillet is uh, created and select ok uh, now uh, we will hide this surface uh, basically this is the offset surface so I will hide this surface ok Uh, next is we will create another fillet and this time on the inside edge of this bowl and uh, this radius uh, would be let's say 5 mm so go to your fillet and this time i will be using constant size fillet select this edge i will change this dimension to 5 mm and select ok uh, let's section this view uh, on the right side from the right plane now you can see that uh, this thickness and this thickness okay now we will create a dome here in the bottom side so let's go to here uh, insert features and i will search for dome command select this one and i will select this bottom face i will change the direction and i will change the dimension to let's say 3.2 mm an elliptical dome and select ok now i will go to a section and now you can see the section view uh, for the dome so dome is created uh, next is uh, we will create a fillet on this edge i will change the dimension to 10 mm and uh, and select ok and we will create uh, uh, a sweep feature here so let's go to your sweep and select this option circular profile change this diameter to uh, 1 mm and uh, just right click here select section manager select this option and select this option select tangency and select ok and now I'll go to uh, options. Uh, you can see the preview. Uh, I'll go to your options and I will select all these boxes and select OK. Uh, next is uh, we will create a fillet here, and uh, this radius would be let's say 0.5. So I will change it to 0.5.
and now i will use a command called circular pattern and uh, uh, i will make 20 patterns of this indent so let's select these three features fill it and uh, let's say uh, sweep and uh, surface cut and uh, for the direction uh, let's uh, let's rotate it select this one and you can see here 360 degree equal spacing and 20 instances and select ok and now you can see that uh, uh, 20 instances are generated and uh, I will create another fillet of 0.5 on this face so let's go to your fillet feature and this time select uh, this face and now you can see the preview of this uh, fillet and select OK. So lastly, we will uh, apply some uh, appearance to this uh, bowl and uh, you can see this beautiful uh, bowl with indent and now you can see this section view and this uh, sweep. Uh, so. Uh, so let's go to here uh, uh, appearance and I will search for uh, let's say a class appearance and uh, let's go to here let's say thick gloss and I will search for blue thick gloss select this one and apply and now we'll do some very basic rendering let's may change it to perspective real view graphics let's change it to real view and uh, let's go to your add-ins I will search for uh, photo view 360 which is enabled let's go to your render tools and now I can uh, render this uh, geometry select this one integrated preview and now you can see this very basic rendering so this rendering is done uh, after I created this tutorial and uh, uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial uh, I hope you have learned something new. I hope you like it. And if you have any questions, any queries, you can ask in comment section. And I uh, uh, now I can hope that you can make this indent and you can make this power uh, easily. So uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects. Thank you.